there everyone! Now that it is officially June, I've been thinking, what is the best way to get in the summery mood? No, not going outside and going to the beach and getting all sandy and dirty and muddy and ugh. Reading summery books that get you in the mood and get you feeling all the summer feelings without ever having to leave the comfort of your air-conditioned home. So because summer is also primarily when I read my contemporary books, I thought that I would give some summery read recommendations to all of you for this summer so you also can enjoy the comforts of summer in your nice cool house. So I have a recent discovery, and by recent I mean I read this last summer, and it is Heartbreakers by Ali Novak, which is the first in a four-part series that Ali Novak is planning. This is about this girl Stella who meets this boy Oliver at a Starbucks one day, just randomly doesn't recognize him, and then it turns out that he is the lead singer in her sister's favorite band. But what really makes this book special to me is the message it has about the main character Stella because she has a sister who is very very sick and seems to not be getting better and so Stella's kind of putting her life on hold to be with her sister and be there for everything she needs and this book is kind of about Stella restarting her life and realizing that like you can still love your sister and be a good sister and have your own life so it's not like you have to put everything on hold. The romance between Stella and the main guy Oliver is also really really cute and he's kind of helps her along with his other bandmates to get out of her shell and kind of come in more to her own so it's just a really cute story really cute message and a really really cute summer romance book after that I have one you should all be familiar with and that is Paper Towns by John Green this one technically doesn't take place during summer but it's about a road trip ish and I think just road trips in general definitely have that summery feel to it it's about if you still haven't known what it's about this girl Margo who this boy Quinn has loved since he was little and finally it's their senior year he's deciding that it's now or never to be with Margo and he spends this one incredible night with Margo where they go all over the town writing the wrongs in Margo's words of people around them. The next night Q thinks it's all gonna be different but when he wakes up Margo is missing. She has run away and the story quickly becomes about finding where she is and going back and telling her his feelings for him and I really like it. It's a great summary read even though it doesn't necessarily take place during summer. It's like end of school graduation feel so it still fits in nicely with the theme we're going with. After that I have a new summer book which is Summer Days and Summer Nights edited by Stephanie Perkins which is 12 different love stories all from different authors and this one is very similar to the holiday theme one that Stephanie Perkins edited which was my true love gave to me except this one's all about summery romances so it's literally the perfect summer romance because it's got everything for you if you don't really like contemporary. It has horror summer romances, sci-fi romances, fantasy romances, and just regular playing romances. So it's really really cool and I really really enjoy it. It's a quick easy read that you can take pretty much anywhere with you if you do want to go to the outside by the pool or anything like that. So I liked it and I would definitely definitely recommend it. After that I have This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. And Jennifer E. Smith is a great contemporary writer guys. Definitely check her out if you haven't already. She actually has a book in Summer Days and Summer Nights which fun fact. Uh, I don't know if it was actually that fun. This is about a girl and a boy who have been emailing each other. They met on a website now they've been emailing each other and they end up meeting in real life and it turns out the guy is a famous actor who is shooting a movie and now the girl is like oh my gosh what do I do with this? I did not expect to be dating this handsome handsome fella. So it's all about that and how you're kind of dealing with emotions that you have and how who this boy she thought she knew is correlated to this boy the media puts up and who the boy really is and it's just a really cute story overall and I'm a sucker. Sucker for actors falling in love with normal people trope, so you had me at the first sentence, Jennifer, you had me. And then another one of my favorite recent contemporary books is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. Emery Lord actually has a book out right now if you would like to check that out that just came out called when we collide or something like that and it's also a summer contemporary romance I just didn't like it as much as this one open road summer freaking love this book it's about this girl who's kind of like a bad girl like she doesn't always do what she's supposed to which is really different from what we usually see in contemporary where they're straight like do everything they told like they don't even know what a spoon is without you inserting it into their hand so the main character is definitely different she's kind of a rebel kind of a bad girl and to straighten her out they put her on tour with her best friend who is a famous country singer like basically Taylor Swift and the opening act turns out to be this really really cute guy who's kind of like not her type but like a little down home country singer and again this is one of those ones where the romance is cute but it almost kind of takes a back seat or a supporting seat I guess I would say to the overall character development of this girl coming into her own and realizing that 
she maybe hasn't been making the smartest decisions and has been putting out a front that's not really who she is to protect herself from getting hurt from anyone getting to know the real her besides her best friend. So kind of moving forward with that and changing our ways and just, it was so cute. The romance, the message, everything about it, I absolutely loved. And again, you know how I'm a sucker for those famous actress types, famous singers, so this one was right up my alley, even if the main two weren't technically the famous ones. We then have two books by probably one of my favorite contemporary, like indefinitely the top two authors, and that is Morgan Matson's book, Since You've Been Gone, and The Unexpected Everything. I did that backwards. Since You've Been Gone came out last year, The Unexpected Everything came out this year, both super, super cute. Since You've Been Gone is about this girl who's best friends with this girl, Sloane. Sloane's kind of the fun, crazy one, and Emily is just kind of along for the ride and goes along with everything and kind of does the fun stuff because Salone brings her along. Then Salone disappears, moves away, leaves her Emily a list of all the things she wants her to do for the summer that are so crazy and things that she would normally never do without Salone, like kiss someone named Adam or skinny dip in the pond, things like that. And it's really a great journey that she goes on throughout the book in finding who she is without Salone, this crutch that she's had for so long, her best friend, and what she really wants to be like and what she wants with her future and I really really liked it. Unexpected Everything on the other hand is kind of different from Emily because the main character Andy has her life pretty much all put together. Dad is a senator who has just been found guilty of this scandal that he's investigating so she's really never had her dad home and now he's going to be stuck with her the whole summer and it's kind of them trying to adjust to being around each other and really having to talk and figure out who the other person is for the first time in years and it was just a really cute story. I'm currently still reading through it so I'm not done yet but it's so so cute, so summery and just the friendships, the romance, everything seems so realistic and so real and I really really love it. And now for my bonus edition, 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 we have Vendetta by Catherine Doyle and I call this the bonus one because it's not your typical summer contemporary read where you think of light, fluffy, fun, Maybe someone trips over a dog or spills ice cream on the crush that they have. No, this one is definitely contemporary, but it's a thriller, mysterious, because it's about this girl, Sophie, whose father was recently in jail, and she's taking care of his diner now that he is in jail. During her, what she assumes is going to be humdrum summer, these really cute boys move in next door, but she's told to stay away from them because they are very, very dangerous, but she has this kind of instant connection with one of them, Neek, or Nick, I can always never say it right. And try as she might they just can't seem to stay away so it's definitely a Romeo and Juliet forbidden love it takes place in the summer which is why I'm including it on this list not only that reason but also because I absolutely love it so I definitely recommend it especially if you're looking for something a tad different in the summer I would definitely highly recommend it it's so 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 good and the sequel is the romance is even better in the sequel, trust me on that. Alright, so there you have it. Those are my summary read recommendations for you. Do what you will with them, and if you have any summer reading recommendations for me or anyone else who could be out there needing some, please feel free to leave your own in the comments down below, and also make sure you give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel down below to be told to make all sorts of new videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!